I actually did it. There's a problem. Something's gone wrong. I'm getting too much power. I can't hold it. Stop it. It's no good. I can't shut down. The systems are overloading. It's going to explode. Come on! What's happening? I think that should have done the trick. What trick? What happened? Well, Tom, to put it simply, we've just travelled through time. Time, but how? Why? Well, slow time, to be precise. For a moment or two, time slowed down. We were passing through a time warp. But to create such a thing would be having to distort vast amounts of energy. Yes which must mean the experiment was deliberately sabotaged. But if that's the case, then it's been sabotaged for a reason. Oh, oh. you're right, Tom. You seem rather faint. Just got a bit of a headache, that's all. Yes, don't worry. The same thing happened to me when I first traveled through a time warp. But the effect will soon wear off. Oh, what happened? It's quite all right, old chap. You just had a nasty blow to the head, but the effect should wear off soon. What? Where am I? What's going on? Who are you? What on earth is going on? Never mind, Leftbridge Stewart. It's all over now. The power transfer is holding very steady. You did well. I was only following the instructions you gave me. Well, what will happen now? All the power has been emitted from the machines will channel back into my TARDIS. This receiver should be able to channel through the power in various little doses, so not to engulf all the power all at once to cause an overload. Once that's done, we shall be able to proceed to the second stage of the operation. Have you measured the time parameters? I was just about to do that now. Good. We'll see to it. It seems strange the powers of altering time now belong to man. I didn't think it would be a power that we'd be able to comprehend, let alone begin to imagine. Mr. Tammers, when I met you at that conference in America, I didn't believe a word of what you were saying, but now, we need to get a move on. How soon can we break down the power into calculable theories? Uh, an hour? Maybe two, maybe three? I just don't know. In order to be able to be sure we can control the power, we need to measure its power generation capabilities. I reckon we should do a test run. Go and measure those time parameters and feed back the results to me. And then you must go back to the research centre. What for? More sabotage, I'm afraid. Don't worry, Dr. Smythe. I know what I'm doing. Just trust me. What's the matter, Doctor? It's strange, Tom. I seem to be getting weird detections on my beeper. Weird hints of time distortion emulating from this area. It's difficult, I know the machine's registering something, I just can't get a fix on it. Or maybe it's faulty. It is not faulty.
Ah, there you are, Doctor. And what are you up to? We're trying to detect concentrated time distortion within this area, Brigadier. How's Dr. Stoddard? Having a bit of a lie down, I'm afraid. He seems to have a bit of a headache. Yes, well, I'm not surprised. It's not every day you go for a time warp. A what? Never mind. Doctor, you were saying something about the experiment being deliberately sabotaged? Yes. When assessing the computer in the main lab, I noticed that some of the switches were overdrawn. The professor obviously must have adjusted the machine, allowing it to absorb all the time energy at once. Dr. Smythe must have obviously adjusted the computer, allowing it to absorb all the time energy at once. Where has all that energy gone? Transferable, I should think. Transferred where? That's what I'm trying to find out. I'm getting a signal on my beeper, but I can't seem to pick up any fix on it yet. Have you got a signal? No, that's the thing. It's too faint. It knows it's detecting something. You just can't figure out what. My guess is it's picking up smaller amounts of time distortion. I must examine this back at the lab. But Doctor, who's responsible for causing the time distortion in the first place? Well, I should figure you of all people will be able to figure that out, Brigadier. Who do you know? who knows the theories of time travel and the elaborate calculations such as myself have been able to use that at their own ends to manipulate time and henceforth passing on the theories to Dr. Smythe the master? yes exactly the master must have passed on the theories of time travel to Dr. Smythe in a concentrated form obviously he's planning to manipulate time for his own ends but I thought you said no one could alter time. Well, there are rules about breaking the laws of time, Tom, but nothing about bending them. The Master's here and he's up to something, and I've got to find out what it is quickly. Because I'm picking up small amounts of time distortion, it isn't doing anything. So it's not dangerous. Well, the small fragments stored inside my machine seem all right, but I'm more concerned about the power that the Master has. Judging from the mass and size of the numbers registered, there was a large amount of power stored. Channeled back into the Master's TARDIS, and he's obviously using it in concentrated form. Well, I've got patrol sites keeping on sight for the Master. If the Master wants to stay hidden, Brigadier, he'll remain so. I've got to cross-reference this data with the computers. The device, it's going again. The signal's much stronger this time. Where's it coming from?